We have sine all by itself. There's something more complicated in the parentheses, but we'll deal with that later. Let's just go ahead and write two theta equals. Okay, for what angle measurements is the y value equal to negative one half? The y value is equal to negative one half at 210 and at 330. Okay, 210, 330. This is gonna get fun. <laughs> Check it out. 210 and 330. Well, that's equal to 2 theta. So now we're going to divide by 2. And 210 divided by 2 is 105. Ooh. 330 divided by 2 is going to give me 165. Okay. That's great. So my final answers, I should have written that in blue because it was a final answer. 105 degrees, 165 degrees. I know I'm being repetitive, but I'm trying to be consistent too that all my radians final answers have been blue. All my, all my degree final answers have been blue. All my radian final answers will be red. You're like 105 degrees. Where's that on here? You won't find it. We're gonna have to convert these. <gasps> oh no. All right, let's do it. It's not gonna kill us. Uh, radians over degrees equals pi over 180. I left the degree symbols off, but we're basically gonna have 105 pi over 180, and that's gonna equal x. We're simply gonna just reduce that fraction. So when we reduce that fraction, we're going to say, well, 105 or 180, let's see, five goes into that numerator, wait a minute, uh, 15 goes into that numerator, and it goes in seven times. And 15 goes into that denominator, and it goes in 12 times. 7 pi over 12. 7 pi over 12. All right, same situation here. X over 165 equals pi over 180, which do your cross multiplication is going to give you 165 pi over 180, and that's equal to the other X value. And let's see, 15 goes into that one 12 times. 15 is going to go into that one 11 times. So we have 11 pi over 12. 11 pi over Last one. Don't cry. Don't cry. 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta minus 1. What? Oh, my goodness. What a mess. What an absolute disaster of a mess. Let's uh, clean this up. Instead of 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta minus 1, let's just say that sine theta equals x. Okay? Just kind of think through that. Well, then I'd have 2x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. We're going to solve that by factoring. You can do it. If you're not writing this, it's okay. 2x and 1x and 1 is 1 times 1. Let's see, I need a negative here, positive here. We factored it. Yeah, okay. Everything that you just wrote, we're going to do the same thing with sine now. We're not going to write that because that just defined our variable for our doodling, but let's take that, run with it. So, two x plus one, x minus one, two sine theta plus one, sine theta minus one equals zero. So two sine theta plus one equals zero. So sine theta equals negative one half, and sine theta minus one equals zero. So sine theta equals one. All right, we're gonna find everywhere that the y value, sine, is equal to, whoa, negative one half. There we go, fixed it. Negative one half or positive one. All right, sine is negative one half. Where's my unit circle? <laughs> sine is negative one half. The y value is negative one half here and here. So 210, 330. 210, 330. Oh, good grief. While we're at it, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, seven pi over six. 11 pi over 6, and multiple colors going on. The y value is equal to 1 at only one place, and that is at 90 degrees, which is it? Pi over 2. There we go. Solved it. It's like a good quadratic.